What's up everybody, Dylan here from Kite Puerto Rico N1 Water Sports in beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm gonna run you through a quick little video on how to use your Flight Lab launch pad. How to update it, how to go through the settings, how to pair it with your amp jet. So hopefully this will help somebody. You. Hey guys, welcome to N1 Surf Shop. You're gonna get your Flight Lab launch pad. Comes in a little bag. You've got your wireless charger, you have the cable, and then you have like a spare O-ring for it. So once you get out of the bag, you have three buttons. You have a triangle, you have the menu button, and then you have a circle. Triangle is boost, the thrust, and this is the paddle assist. To turn it on, hold the boost the triangle and the menu button at the same time. When you get your launch pad um, from the get-go, throw it on the charger because to do the updates and to go and have a session, you're going to want it to be charged. They don't come fully charged for a reason. So it'll say that it needs an update and the launch pad is low on battery. I've got 6%. So I won't be able to do the update, but Open up your flight app. You're gonna go to devices because the launch pad is on. You'll open it up. It'll sync. And then you'll see here an update is required. So hit update, bop, and it'll go into update. All right, so once the update's all complete, you've got different profiles. You've got prone wing, downwind, and unpowered. So when you're on this screen, or any screen for that matter, you hold the menu button and you'll see your profiles. You've got prone to toggle through it, prone, wing, downwind, unpowered. Unpowered is for when you're not actually using the jet, but you can still track your sessions, your waves, and all of that. All right, so I'm gonna go back to prone. And all you do is you just tap the menu button. So you tap. I've got it on 10 thrust. If you want to turn it down, turn it down, 8 thrust. The next one is boost time for how long the thrust is engaged, 6 seconds, 5 seconds. This is your acceleration. That's how long it's going to take for it to get to your desired thrust. So it's like incremental. The more you turn it down, then it's like, boom, straight boost. So Let's turn that to, for wave riding, I really liked three. Next is paddle thrust, which is your paddle assist. Uh, it's one, two, or three. Two is a really good medium. And then you've got your boost delay. So when you hit the boost, how long it's going to take for the thrust to start engaging. I like maybe a three second delay for wave riding and then you can reset and go back to your default setting is what Flight Lab has. To get out of that, you just hold the menu button and we're in our prone. If you wanted to switch between prone, wing, or downwind, remember just hold the menu button. I'm gonna wing now and then hold the menu button. Now I'm in my wing setting. If you're on the water and you realize that on your prone, just tap the menu that your thrust is not enough because the waves are too small. Turn it up to 10. Maybe your thrust time, your boost is not long enough. I want it for six seconds. Maybe the acceleration delay is too long and I want it to kick in faster. Maybe I want to paddle assist more because I'm lazy. I want my boost delay to be two seconds because I'm missing the wave. Now I'm hold that menu button and now it's saved in my profile. And that's all you need to do, especially when you're on the water. Do this a couple times because it's super easy. Hold the menu, tap the menu, change your settings, okay? Hold to get out of it and you're saved. And if you don't want to see the battery level, but you want to see your wave count, then turn it there and then you're good to go. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is how to pair this with this, okay? This is the case, this is my jet. I've got a little cloth 
to uh, wipe it down when it's all wet. I've got my two batteries. Super easy just to slip together here. There we go. So to pair your launch pad to your jet, you've got to have batteries in it. So I've got my two batteries here. You're going to want the handle on the back side. Slip this into your jet. You're going to hear it. Turn on. All right, now it's on. And because I am paired, this thing is, there you go. That's the heat sensor as well, these rings, now that it's paired. It'll go all the way down to red, and once it hits blue, it'll say uh, cooling time or something like that. It means you've hit the jet thrust too many times and you've overheated the motor. If it was not paired, make sure this is disconnected from the app because then it won't pair with your jet. So disconnect it from the app, close your app, hold the triangle button for about, I don't know, eight seconds. It'll ask if it wants to sync. I say yes. It'll search. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. So last thing you didn't know, once your batteries are out of your jet and your launch pad's not connected to it anymore, open up your app, connect the launch pad, and then it'll connect automatically. And then you'll see a little orange button here that says sync and then you can hit sync and that'll load your session onto your profile so you can see your wave count and keep track of your sessions. And to turn it off, same way you turn it on. The boost and the menu button, just hold those together. Pop. And it's off. Thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you want any other tips and tricks, let me know in the comments below if you want me to talk about the jet or the batteries. But this is the only question I've been getting is how to um, use this launch pad. So if you want some flight amp boards, please let me know. Uh, we've got them in stock and we're shipping them out right away. Yew.